Hey guys, how's it going? It's Mace Dog here, and today we're back with more creative Minecraft. In this episode, hopefully we'll be adding to our tower and we'll be finishing it, or at least getting really close and adding some final details. In this episode, we're just going to be working on making it a lot taller and adding the roof. Hopefully we'll be adding a few more stories to it. Um, we did do the inside, or at least the floor. We will be working on it later, the interior, in another video, hopefully. But in this video, we're just going to be working on this, the walls and also on the roof. I hope you guys really do enjoy it. And if you do like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps my channel out a lot, and it helps this community grow even bigger. And if you have any suggestions for this channel for what to build in further episodes, let me know in the comment section down below on what you'd like me to add to this world. As you can see, we're continuing to build with the blackstone bricks. We also have a few other items that we're going to be using, such as the warped planks, the warped stairs, and the warped slabs. I'm really hoping that by adding the warped blocks to this build, that we'll be able to make the colors kind of pop and make this building more unique. I know that this is a very grayscale, you know, building, but I'm hoping that by adding these, it'll really make it have more character than just a gray building. One of the things that I want to look at personally is not just this tower, but what it's going to be facing. And off into the distance, we have this beautiful island, and I have to figure out what we're going to be doing with it. Maybe in a later episode, we'll be, you know, flattening it out, and maybe we'll do something with that mountain as well. I'm not quite sure on what you guys want there, but I'm hoping maybe we can make like little houses or villages that are on the hillside. Hopefully soon we'll be able to make little boats inside this little water area in between us and the island and really get to make this place more of a homey and populated area. Now that we fast forward it a little bit, it makes it easier for you guys to see on what I had planned. I know it's just a simple tower, but maybe later down the line we'll be adding accents to it on the sides. What I'm hoping to do is make kind of a sloped point roof for the tower, almost like a wizard tower in my mind. So we're going to be using the warped planks to build out and make a circle around the top to make it easier to make this kind of pointed shape roof. Also, I find that it's very nice or it matches these soul lanterns that I have. It just kind of fits the aesthetic and since I have those at the front entrance, it just kind of works. By having the planks here, it'll make us have an easier way to kind of have more of a draped over effect. So we're going to be building out at least three blocks away from every black stone brick surface, just so we get a bigger circle to work with. And hopefully that makes it kind of layered and really gives it more definition to the build. Now that we finished the circle at the top of the tower, we're going to be looking at what else is there to add. We're going to be adding layers below the actual circle so we can give more layers and detail to this build. I find in other tutorial videos that they really emphasize in using layers and kind of give you different details to work with. So what we're going to be doing is on four sides of the tower, we're going to be having these kind of drooped guilds on each side and hopefully it's going to have some sort of detail right in the center that we can then use later on to maybe use as the town's guild. I'm not quite sure yet on the idea but hopefully it all works out in building. I don't know if it was intended or not but 
I do know a lot about fungi. I do know a lot about mushrooms because that's something that I'm really into at the moment. And that's why I'm going to be making the Fungi Podcast with my friend Logan. I know that this has kind of been on the back burner and we're still working really hard at it. Um, We're going to be talking hopefully within the next couple of days and hopefully doing a recording session really soon for you guys so we can start pumping out videos for you. But one of the parts that we have for our podcast is adding a fun fact about fungi or mushrooms and that sort of thing. And so one of the things that we have is that the warped wood planks look quite similar to wood that has been infected with the green elf cup fungus. This causes the wood to turn sort of a blue-green color. This is very prized for furniture making back in the olden days. How old? I don't know. But I do know that by having this blue wood or this infected wood, it would actually raise the price almost five times the amount because it was so valuable. Um, What makes this color, that bluish green, is actually the fungus mycelia intertwines with the wood and that's how it kind of gets that color. So we just finished with our first guild design. Hopefully in later episodes we'll be able to have different villages or different colonies that will be living in the same area and you guys can tell me whether they're friends, enemies, and we can make different changes to the world by using these different guilds. Now I want to try to make this tower more tall and pointy, so hopefully you can really see it from down below at the entrance. Hopefully it really gives some definition, and it's going to be really kind of skinny and tall. So by adding several blocks tall for each layer, hopefully it really makes it visible for everybody that's looking at it. I wanted to make this more of a unique factor for this village, just so it kind of gives that little bit of almost medieval, but also like a wizardry kind of feel to it. I'm really hoping that maybe we can use some like potion stands and enchanting books all inside of the building just to kind of make it more medieval or wizard-like. And hopefully, later down the line, you guys will be able to use this world as you please and be able to download it. So, now that we're looking at the front, we finally leveled off the roof. And what we'll be doing is just slowly going in higher and higher, just so we get that kind of pointed tip look to our tower. Hopefully it gives it more of a wizard feel, but... We'll see how it goes, and we're just going to see how tall it gets, because that's the whole point. You want to make it tall and skinny, just so you can see it from the ground. It's going to be this grand tower. And now that we found the center, this is roughly what it's going to be the height of the whole tower. We might change it a little here and there, but it seems like that's going to be the height. We might want to make it a little bit taller down the line, but we're just going to see what it looks like after we finish building. Or at least get a nice you know, structure going, and we'll see if we need to make it any taller to really compensate for how big it is. And what I like to do is try to make as much symmetry as possible before trying to add any of the corner details. So hopefully they'll really make it easier for us to, you know, make it as uniform as possible. So what I'm doing is just trying to go from each corner and really build into the center and then work on the corners later down the line just so we can kind of even everything up. I did mess up a little bit right there, but it's all right. We're making these little platforms so everything's kind of more leveled out. 
and we're just going to be building up on the sides just so it makes it easier for everyone. While looking back at it, it does look like there is a little bit of a skinny bit at the bottom of this tower tip. So what we're going to be doing is just adding some more layers to really make this taller and give it more definition. So we'll be doing that and just continuing back on our symmetry just to make it easier. Also guys, I just want to let you know that any updates that we're going to be having for any of the channel is going to be on my Instagram page. I'm going to just warn you right now that next week I'm not going to be able to do an upload. I'm really sorry. There are some things that come up and I wasn't able to work on any videos, but hopefully we'll get right back into gear and we'll be making weekly uploads. And, you know, I'll let you guys know exactly what's going on on my Instagram page. So, if you follow me down in the description down below, my Instagram is down there as well. If you want, I was thinking of maybe making a Twitter as well. I'm not quite sure on it. We'll see. But, for right now, my Instagram is the best way to get updated with these videos. So it doesn't look like we have much left to build on, we just have this corner, and I think all in all, it looks really nice. We have the nice corners right there, it is a little bit square at the top, we might be able to round that off later, but overall, we really get that point that's in there that I really enjoy. What I'm thinking of adding is actually putting a lightning rod on the top of this tower. The warped planks don't catch on fire, or at least they don't burn, and it'll make it look really cool when it does like thunderstorms and when it shocks the tower at the top. I think we did an awesome job together in making this first build. I know it's not 100% complete, but I think it looks amazing. Thank you guys for staying till the end of the video. If you did enjoy this content, don't forget to subscribe and more videos like this will be coming out soon. I will also be doing in-person videos and Reddit review content very soon. I have to get on that, but till then, see ya.